welcome to Worthing Birdman 2013. This is the sixth time we've been here in Worthing. Sunny Worthing today, going to be some great flying. It was a great day yesterday, some fantastic flying. Uh, we nearly had a jackpot. We did, Sharon. We had Ron Freeman getting 106 metres, but it wasn't actually forward distance. It was actual flight time out to the side. So he's sitting in first for the Condors. I think he's going to be confident about being number one for the, for the next year again. So let's get on with it, Sharon. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Birdman platform where the uh, flights take place from. It's 35 feet from, from the platform itself to the uh, to the sea. A little bit windy. What do you reckon are the conditions today, Lewis? I think the conditions are classic today, Dave. It's a perfect southwesterly breeze, a classic sea breeze that Worthing is world renowned for. So the winds in the face of the competitors, which is what they want. I think we got a real chance of someone hitting the jackpot today. I know we were very, very close yesterday, and I think you could be right today. Is somebody going to take the big money? and make the 100 metres. We've got that, we've got a green light. This is the start of the second day of the 2013 International Birdman in Worthing. Let's see you on the beach then for Hannah, the benchmark. Oh. You're right, the guys are on. Come on, Worthing. Give him a cheer. You know, I've got a funny feeling, Lewis, that they might have actually beaten yesterday's distance. British kite serving champion, Lewis Crathern, off the pier, flying off the pier for Worthing Birdman 2013. Make some noise, come on. He's, uh, is he ready to? Yes, he's got the green green light. Let's give him a round of applause then, everyone. Splish splash, I jump back in the bath. Well, I was out and know there was a party going. The wheel, Dave, is uh, how it looks. Ah. Okay, now obviously uh, a lot of effort. <laughs> a lot of effort has gone into. Uh... That's my only I really want him to go with it. I really do. Mm, come on, let's now. go. <laughs> Having done it before, if you sort of got any th any particular um, methods up your sleeve that you're going to use to maybe improve on last year? Keep, keep my clothes on. <laughs> oh, you were the guy. You are. Uh, Amberly Lobo, I'm here to win gold. I'm taking it to the next level. I'm obviously versing the world. And my competitor, Gilly, it's obviously a game of two halves. I personally just can't wait to get off the edge and uh, go far. Yeah, it's a fantastic steam uh, steam operated device made by my man Mike here. Uh, we're looking to uh, look. We've flown ten thousand miles. I'm hoping to at least go one meter off the end. Interesting. Okay. Okay. 
you smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. And he said... Yeah, a lot of work has gone into making that craft and hopefully it will remain in one piece. Uh... Muttley, you snickering floppy-eared hound. When courage is needed, you're never around. Those medals you wear on your moth-eaten chest. Just about to go. Round of applause then, Worthing. Let's hear it for the cheese men. Good luck, guys. Angus and Lee as the flying cheese men. Well, we actually bought the booths, but we've made the bra ourselves. And um, yeah, we're going to go topless today. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so there you had it. We're going to have our first topless uh, flyers here at the Worthing Birdman. Good luck, girls. Good luck, girls. I make it along. So I'm here with uh, Toby on the end here, Dave, who's one of the condors. He's just having a little look at the conditions. Now, Toby, tell me a bit about how you feel standing on the end here. What do you think about the conditions? It's OK at the moment. It's, it's, we're just waiting to see if it gusts up too much. Um, it was blowing a bit stronger earlier. So right now, it's, it's OK. It's strong, but it's, it's fine to fly in. Uh, I'm uh, feeling actually good right now. I was nervous just before. This wind speed is now what we were seeing yesterday, and I got off fine on yesterday. I was nervous yesterday, but yeah, experience of, of that has uh, given me a little bit more confidence. It's, it's very dicey, uh, it's still touch and go, uh, but uh, it's worth having a go at. So it's Roger Warren to start off with our first Condor Flyer of the Day. Here he goes, he's requested his uh, team to leave. Can we hear some support? Here he goes, this looks good. Wow, what a flight! Fantastic. Uh, Roger Warren, the first of our Condor flights this afternoon. Toby, 11 knots now. Are you happier with the wind being slightly less? Yeah, the less the better at the moment. Um, it's not feeling too bad. It's smooth. Uh, so, Roger seems to go pretty well. So, uh, see how we get on. Off he goes. Congratulations. So just quickly then, I'm going to go in here. Tony, can you tell me, what are the dangers if it's too windy for you? The dangers are the glider could flip over backwards. It would be quite spectacular and I'd probably get hurt badly. Okay, and uh, so what are you looking for? Ideally, which are you looking for? 15, 16 knots and you'll be off? Yeah, something like that. As long as it's steady, uh, I'll try and do a gentle turn to the right and head towards the crowd on the beach. 
the louder they shout, the closer I'll get. As I said before, as these flyers prepare, the tension is incredible up here. There isn't a single word being no spoken no up here. No this is serious. This no is right on the limit of wind speed. No on the no there's please. Lily, my girlfriend, and Manny. Hello. Go on, Tony! Go on, go on, go on! Go on, Tony! Oh, what a go on, Tony! This could be go on, Tony! very well yes! controlled there, yes! to be said. Yes! This is going Fuck miles. <laughs> what a flight! God, that looks scary, but what a brilliant distance, you know? Um, Tony sort of turned very quick and went a very, very fast downwind. That's like, he knew, it, I knew what he was going to do, and he knew I'm going to do the same. But that was a cracking distance. So, at one, three, two. Wow, it's gone crazy, isn't it? Let's hear some support then. People of Worthing for the champion. Can he keep his crown? In this spectacular last day that we've had here on the, the 2013 Worthing International Birdman, here we go! Rob Freeman! Fantastic final flight for Birdman 2013, Ron Freeman. Okay, don't go away. We await the results, the distance covered by Ron Freeman. Okay, the distance covered in the final flight by Ron Freeman for Birdman 2013. 141.5 meters. Ron Freeman, well done. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. We'll have a, we'll have a world with Ronnie. Just phenomenal yeah. to see you. I just can't believe it. Well done, Ron. Cheers. Thanks very much.